As the multi-million pork barrel scam got bigger and bigger, life got better and better for mastermind Janet Limnopoulos. Her former employee turned primary whistleblower Ben Hurloy tells the Senate Napolis connived with lawmakers to channel their pork barrel to her bogus non-governmental organizations. In exchange, they got hefty kickbacks. Loy said when he first worked for Napolis in 2002, her family was already living in high-end Ayala Alabang village and owned expensive cars. So, so nung nung ano ano ba talaga yung negosyo nito ni Madam? Kasi nung dati na alala ko pa po nagbebenta pa kami nung anak niya ng mga mga sinasamahan ko pa sila nang nagbebenta ng ano to yung mga mga ballpen, mga So ano medyo close na, kayo talaga even ni, before ni, ni, nung pamilya ni Miss Napoles. Yes po. As a government contractor, Louis says Napoles has contacts in all branches of government, including the budget department, the commission on audit, the ombudsman and implementing agencies. Kasi nabasa namin sa diaryo, galante magregalo. Sa mga, sa, mga, ibang, sa mga kausap niya. Sa mga parang part of doing business. Yes po. Diba, Pero mga, kami mga empleyado hindi. Mga mamamahalin na bag sa limbawa. Yes no? po. Sinong bumibili nun? Siya mismo o may inutusan din sa inyo? Siya mismo. Lawmakers even went to Napolis' office in Discovery Suites in Pasig to peddle their PDAF for rebates. By late 2006, business was so good that Napolis started acquiring property. She also expanded her scheme to tap into other government funds outside pork. While Napolis made the most from lawmaker Spark Barrel, it was in 2009 that she hit the jackpot. That year, Napolis received 900 million pesos from the Malampaya Fund through the Department of Agrarian Reform. Louis said Napolis had a total of 20 NGOs. Eight dealt with PDAF, while 12 targeted Malampaya. The Malampaya transaction was one of her last major deals. By 2010, the goose that laid the golden egg was under threat. Under the Aquino administration, the DBM tightened its regulations. May um, naghigpit po yung naghigpit. yes po, mm -hmm. kasi may mga may mga requirements na hiningi po ang mga implementing agencies mm -hmm. na hirap po din kami makasecure. Pagdating po ng ano, pagdating po sa SEC, ang dami rin po hinihingi ng SEC uh, bago po sila. Uh, mag-issue mm. ng Certificate of Good Standing. Okay. Meron pa rin bang naabgor ngayon? Yan ang hindi ko na po alam. Basta okay. itong, itong... Pero wala ka ng transaction na alam? Wala na po. Basta nag-LGUs na po okay. kami. In 2011, COA started probing anomalies in Apollos' transactions. Employees began talking among themselves, afraid. Hindi, hindi ko alam. Hindi ko din alam na ano, saan ako magsusumbong. Kasi syempre, ano, lang, ano, ano, ano ba lang naman ako? Siyempre, uh, uh, isang simpleng tao lang. Tapos ang, ang magiging kabangga ko, si Madam, tapos very influential pa. But for, para sa, sa taong bayan, gagawin ko yun. Napolsa's dramatic rags to riches story may reach its climax next week. The National Bureau of Investigation is now preparing to file plunder charges against Napolis and lawmakers involved in the scam. Connections in powerful places and generous gift giving. This was the Napolis formula, the foundation upon which her wealth was built. With just one powerful tell all, her decade's work comes crashing down. Natasha Gutierrez, Rappler, Manila.